हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर देवेश मिश्रा एंड आई हैव डन माय एमडी पैथोलॉजी एंड आई एम फ्रॉम डिड माय एसआरसी फ्रॉम द एम्स एंड आई एम अ नेशनल लेवल पैथोलॉजी फैकल्टी एंड मेंटर आई एम ऑथर एंड टीचर ऑफ द बेस्ट सेलिंग बुक विद द नेम कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन पैथोलॉजी एंड द बेस्ट सेलिंग लेक्चर ऐप पैथोलॉजी लेक्चर ऐप विच विल बी अवेलेबल एट आई डी पी एंड आई एम वेरी प्राउड टू से दैट दिस आई एन आई सी टी एग्जाम मोर देन थर्टी क्वेश्चन केम फ्रॉम माई ऐप लेक्चर ऐप एंड मोर देन थर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन केम फ्रॉम माई बुक कॉल कॉन्सेप्ट इन पैथोलॉजी एंड माई पैथो नोट्स ऑल्सो राइट सो इट्स अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स टू लर्न इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सब्सक्राइब यू कैन गो टू द वेबसाइट एंड यू कैन सब्सक्राइब एंड दिस वीडियो इज वीडियो लेसन इज अबाउट द फॉलिकुलर लिम्फोमा विच वॉज अ क्वेश्चन in this ini ct 2020 exam right so i just wanted to focus on this thing and i want to teach about the follicular lymphoma salient crisp point with the image discussion right so let's start so first we should know that what is follicular lymphoma right so follicular lymphoma is a b cell type of lymphoma so remember it is a b cell type of lymphoma and what is the origin they are originating from the germinal center of the lymph node since they are originating from the germinal center of the lymph node so what will be the marker so remember that is why they will be also bcl6 positive right so this is the marker of the germinal center so remember bcl6 is a marker of germinal center so follicular lymphoma is arising from the germinal center they are b cell type of lymphoma and they are originating from the germinal center that is why bcl6 will be positive who will be affected so usually it is middle age 30 to 45 years old and mostly males are affected that is very important middle aged m for middle aged m for males who are commonly affected middle aged males are affected ranging from 30 to 45 years right what will be the most common presentation in these patient so in these patient remember they will be having diffuse lymph node enlargement please remember when you will be given history then it will be of painless lymph node enlargement and that will be the generalized or diffuse means multiple uh, you know multiple sides of the lymph node will be affected so this means painless generalized means diffuse lymph node enlargement diffuse lymph node enlargement so here he will be giving you history examiner will be giving you history of the cervical inguinal axillary right all these lymph nodes are enlarged so this is how history will be given right so please remember <coughs> it will be painless painless generalized lymph node enlargement will be seen in the follicular lymphoma right so what will be the next step we are going to take the biopsy from the lymph node and from the biopsy of the lymph node we are going to observe two kinds of cells centrocytes one is the centrocytes and second is the centroblast centrocytes how it will be looking like they will be having a uh, cytoplasm and nucleus they are actually centrocytes are little smaller in comparison to the centroblast right centrocytes are little smaller if you are comparing them with the centroblast right and in the nuclei when you are going to see inside the nucleus you are going to see there is a nuclear cleavage there is a nuclear cleavage so this nuclear cleavage right this nuclear cleavage is the reason for the buttock cell name buttock cell is not very specific thing buttock cells can be seen in the uh, mycosis fungoids it can be also seen in the mantle cell lymphoma and right now we are talking about the follicular lymphoma so buttock cells are not very you know diagnostic kind of thing this can be seen in other uh, other conditions also so i wrote the three names so please do remember buttock cells are because of the cleaved nucleus right because of the cleaved nucleus as you can see nucleus is having cleavage that is why they are called as buttock cell mycosis fungoid mantle cell lymphoma follicular lymphoma these are the three lymphomas where you will be finding buttock cells right centroblast <coughs> how will be the centroblast centroblast will be larger in size so this is the number one thing when you are going to compare them with the centrocytes they will be larger and they will be having prominent nucleoli prominent nucleoli larger cell prominent nucleoli that will be the centroblast so whenever we are going to see a middle aged person with diffuse lymph node enlargement painless lymph node enlargement and we are finding these are two types of cells in the lymph node biopsy most likely diagnosis will be follicular lymphoma 
right most likely diagnosis will be follicular lymphoma and on analysis of the lymph node when you are going to see the low power view or a scanner view low power view or a scanner view so what we are seeing there are so many nodules actually these nodules are forming the follicles right so these are the nodular aggregates of the lymphoma cells so remember what are these things these are the nodular aggregate what they will be containing they are containing lymphoma cells what are these lymphoma cells these are b cells right so clear when you are going to uh, look at the high power view then you can see <coughs> there are two kinds of cell a small cell and large cell can you notice this larger cell can you notice this larger cell these larger cells are the centroblast and you can see the prominent nucleoli also right in these larger cells you can notice prominent nucleoli also so this is the nucleus prominent nucleoli so what are these things these are the centroblasts right so these are the centroblasts and when you are going to see the smaller cells right now i am going to show you the smaller cells you can see there will be a smaller cells where there is a nuclear cleavage right there will be a nuclear cleavage like this one a smaller cell with nuclear cleavage so this will be the centrocytes this will be the centrocytes right so lymph node with centrocytes and centroblasts centrocytes are also called as buttock cells right so this will be the finding of follicular lymphoma a small lymphoid cells with condensed chromatin irregular or cleaved nuclear outline is seen in the centrocytes and larger cells with prominent nucleoli are the centroblasts so that is how you are going to identify centrocytes and centroblasts right and if you are seeing the leukemic phase suppose this has gone into the leukemic phase right means they are involving the peripheral blood or bone marrow then you are going to see a clear cut buttock cell so this is the this was the question actually asked in the dnb 2015 so now you can see this is the big cell and if you look at the nucleus if you look at the nucleus now you can see nucleus is having a very good cleavage like this so that is why it is called as buttock cells right so nuclear cleavage is the reason for buttock cells and what are the buttock cells actually these are the centrocytes which are called as buttock cells right so these are the centrocytes which are known as buttock cells now coming to the follicular lymphoma diagnosis what we are going to use for the diagnosis bone marrow biopsy immunophenotyping and cytogenetics so these are the three things we are going to use on bone marrow biopsy what will be the characteristic finding or uh, important thing is the paratrabecular lymphoid aggregates right so you will see the bony trabeculae now you can see how will be the appearance how will be the appearance now you can see you can see what are these things these are the bony trabeculae right these are the bony trabeculae and now you can see the tumor cells so can you tell me how is the bone marrow can you tell me how is the bone marrow in this follicular lymphoma hypocellular or hypercellular hypocellular or hypercellular that was the option given in this aims exam or inict exam so you can see they are full of cellularity hypercellular bone marrow so please remember follicular lymphoma will be having hypercellular bone marrow and in this hypercellular bone marrow around the trabeculae around the trabeculae now you can see these are all blue cells are forming the nodule these are all tumor cells these are all b cells forming the nodule so this is called paratrabecular lymphoid aggregate so what are these things these are called as para trabecular lymphoid aggregate right so paratrabecular lymphoid aggregate will be present in the follicular lymphoma right so that is the bone marrow biopsy right on immunophenotyping they are b cells so they are cd10 positive cd19 positive and they are arising from the germinal center and that is why germinal center marker is also positive right so germinal center marker is also positive <coughs> best way to diagnose nowadays is the cytogenetic analysis in cytogenetic analysis they will be having translocation from the chromosome 14 to 18 right and this will lead to the over expression of the cyclin d2 remember cyclin d2 or bcl bcl2 will be over expressed in the follicular lymphoma so that is how we are going to give the diagnosis of the follicular lymphoma bone marrow biopsy 
paratrabecular lymphoid aggregate immunophenotyping cd10 19 so b cell markers and germinal cell marker is the bcl6 positive cytogenetics translocation 14 18 follicular 14 follicular 14 like that we can remember the mnemonic f for follicular f for 14 so 14 18 and there will be over expression of the cyclin d2 or bcl2 so this is how you can remember and please do remember this image which is not given in the robins this is the bony trabeculae and in this bony trabeculae around the bony trabeculae you can see there are paratrabecular lymphoid aggregate which will be diagnostic of the follicular lymphoma and always remember follicular lymphoma bone marrow will be hypercellular so thank you so much guys this came in this uh, aims exam or inict exam so i have planned uh, to make uh, these topics as a elaborated one as i have promised my earlier video if you have any doubt please uh, post in the comment box i will be coming up with a new video also right if any in a special topic you want me to take i will be definitely making one more video and if you like my lecture please uh, subscribe my youtube and share it with maximum of your friends so that maximum people can benefit and please try to discuss with your friend when you are seeing this video so that you can remember uh, more about this thank you so much to all of you and my best wishes to all